Okay, we're going to, I'm going to show you a couple things in script case. Um, Peter was wondering about um, combo boxes, basically, or drop downs having multiple values. I want to show you that and one more thing that sort of makes sense. So I'm already in script case. Um, I created two tables um, that, that are a person table and a zip code table. The person table has an ID, first name, last name, city, state, zip code, and the zip code table has uh, like 45,000 zip codes in it. It has the zip, the city, the state, and so on. So we're going to basically create a drop-down box that has the zip code along with the city and the state. And I'll show you a couple ways to do that. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new project uh, in our script case. I'll just call it go test1, um, test1. We're going to do a next. It's going to allow me to pick languages. I only know English, so I'm going to do English. Um, it allows me to pick a theme. I'm going to take the default theme. And then it says, what database do you want? I'm going to use MySQL. And I'm going to put in the password here. Um, and it's going to be, it creates a connection called Connection MySQL. You can change that, but it can be whatever you want. I'm going to list the databases. And I want to pick the database that I had out there called Test1. So I just need to do a create, and that will now create my app. In script case, an application really means like a form or a grid or whatever. They call that an application. So we're going to create an application now. I'll, we're just going to create, we're going to go here, create a new application. And I'm going to create a form. And it's going to be a single row form. The connection I'm going to use is my SQL connection. I can actually, I could actually pull data from SQL Server. I could pull data from um, SQL, uh, Oracle. SQLite database and anything I want to. So let me pull down the databases or the tables here. We're going to do person. It's going to default to form person. That's okay. We're now going to create the default form. So the default form, uh, let, me, let me run it so you can see what the default form looks like. So this is going to save it, uh, generate the source code, and run it. Um, and this is what the default form looks like. So I can move from record to record. Um, it's kind of just the basic default form. We have city, we have state, we have zip code. In this case, it looks like they don't they not don't have a zip code in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of there. Now let's go do the lookup. So what you do is in um, let me go down here in the fields. We drop down our fields here and we pick zip code. And we're going to change it from a data type of, of text. We're going to change it to select, which is basically what they call a combo box. Here is my the way I load the values into it. Uh, I can do an automatic, and I can do a create select. So this is going to create the select statement for me, and I'll show you how that works. So the table we're going to use to validate this against is called zip code. The, fee, the key that's going to get loaded, the value that's going to get loaded into the record is going to be the zip. But we want to show different fields. So what I actually want to show is, say, the zip, and I want to add maybe a value here, uh, maybe a couple uh, spaces. Um, add another, we'll add the city, that'll work. Another value, like another space, or actually, let's do a comma, space, dismissed, and then we're going to add another one, and we'll put the state. Okay, so what that creates for us is this select statement. Now, if I know SQL, I can just type the select statement in, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't actually need... The zip code is unique, so I don't need that. It won't hurt anything if I had it. But that's everything that I that I everything I put in there is what's going to be generated. Um, I'm also going to put something here that says uh, select state or select zip. That's basically it. That will do the lookup for us, and it will show multiple values. This SC concat says concatenate these values by using SC concat instead of an actual concatenation in MySQL. If we were to switch this over to SQL Server or SQLite, you would have to make no changes to uh, the application at all. It would just run. Um, we'll go ahead and we're going to generate it and uh, run it. We're going to save it, generate it, and run it, which if we do this, we'll actually do all three. So let's just run it and see if I did this correctly and if this works. So in theory, there we go. So now I have a drop down that has three fields in it. Uh, if I pick one, sounds great. That's what's in there. Now it's only going to store the zip code but it's going to show me everything. 
Now, if we look at this, logically speaking, it would sort of make sense that if we're going to pick the zip code, that maybe we can automatically load the city and the state. That would make sense to do that. Um, so I will show you how you do that. It's a little bit of code. It's a little bit of PHP code. It's, it's JavaScript. Um, it's a JavaScript um, uh, event, but it's very easy to do, especially once you've done one. So I'll show you how you do that. We're also going to want to probably move the zip code first to, so that they don't have to um, skip by city and state if they want to do that. So I'll show you how we do that also. So to move the, um, the city and state or the zip code above it, you just go to field positioning. And this will show you the fields as they are now. You just select the zip code and do that, that and save it. Now that is going to put the zip code first. So now we want to put our little bit of code here and I'll show you how we do this. We want to go to um, Ajax events. We want to add a new Ajax event. And we're going to do this event on the zip code. You can have Ajax events on any of the fields, but we want to do it on the zip code. And the reason it has to be an Ajax event is because Ajax events fire um, fire on the on the browser. And so we it's just a good way of doing it. So let me show you here. We're going to do it on change. So if the value of the zip code changes, we want to do something. We're going to need three things available to us. We're going to want the city, the state, and the zip code available to us. And we're going to create that event. So that's basically created it. And now it says, now what do you want to do? Well, you got a nice little thing over here that's kind of cool where it gives you some predefined things. And what we actually want to do is we want to select a field from another table using a record set. So if I click on that, it actually puts the code right in there for me. So I don't have to know PHP. I have to know it a little bit. I have to be somewhat familiar with it, but nothing too super serious. I can just kind of fill in the blanks. So we're going to want to select um, city and state, okay, um, and our zip code table was called, uh, let me go check, I think it was called zip code. It's called zip code. So let's put that in there, zip code. And we're going to say where zip, because that's the name of my field, zip equals, and then here, all you have to do is put the value of the, or the, the field name that's on the form, and we called it zip code. Right here, it's called zip code. So zip code, okay? Then it's going to um, do a select statement, and it's going to grab the data back. We could actually do a lookup also, but this is this will work too. Uh, this retrieves a, a more than one row, can retrieve more than one row. In my case, I'm only going to retrieve one row. Um, and here we're saying if we don't get a value back, then say error while accessing it. If we get a value back, um, actually this is the wrong, this is the wrong one anyway, I'm sorry. Let me get rid of that. <laughs> This is the one we want. Uh, I'm sorry. Select fields from another table. I'm going to say something didn't make sense there. Okay, so now let's go through the same process. So I'm. So we want to do city, state, from zip code where the zip equals, and the, the name of the field here is zip code. And this does a lookup. That's more correct. So this does a lookup to go look up the value in the database. Um, this basically says, if I got a row, do something. If I didn't get a row, do something different. So what we're going to do here, I'll just put it in here and then you'll see how this works. We're going to load into the field called city, essentially the first record, the first field of the first rec record that we get back. And we're going to use this one to say the state is the first row we get back, but I want the second field. The fields start at zero. And for completeness, we'll just come here and say, if we don't get a hit, which should never happen, we will just do city of blank and state of blank. Okay, that's actually all we should have to do. So if we did it right and we run it, And we go to here and we select Arebo. It now puts those in the city and the state for us automatically. If we come down here and put Ludlow, it puts it that way. And then we can save the record. That's it. That's basically how it works.